TikTok's videography features have inspired some innovative teachers to develop TikTok-based assignments that are shared within classroom groups. Students work individually or together to create, create content that demonstrate their understanding of concepts which promotes peer-to-peer -peer teaching. All right, I feel that it is really interesting. So I tried for the first time in my lesson. All right, let's watch. That's developing reading skill. All right, reading skill even. Interpreting text for author's intention, attitudes, and style. First one, reading critically allows the reader to deduce how a writer feels about the issues presented and why the writer is presenting them. Take out the uh, tone of the text that the writers are given so you can uh, make broaden make a conclusion for the writer's attitude towards the subject. And the third one, the author's style can be determined through the syntax, word choice, and tone. It can also describe it as the voice that readers listen to when they read the writer's work. Emotive words in the text can help you to infer the writer's purpose and or feelings about the subject matter. Okay. Text to compare and evaluate information in different texts. First is, you need to read both of the text carefully. Then, figure out of the purpose of the text. And then, Pay attention to the vocabulary, imagery, sentence length, paragraph length, structuring of ideas, and rhetorical device. The next is determine the similarities and difference of text. And the last one, pay attention to the claim, facts, and opinion present in the text. Uh, okay. Question on comparing and evaluating information in different texts may be like this. Which of the following is true of, of both texts? Um, the next question is the two texts suggest that your data requires. Alright. Um, this is uh, the example to how to display the text. Um, you need the two texts like this, one and two, and the text maybe have a similar, similarity and different, so you can um, compare the text.
not doing. They confuse the uh, uh, reader or the examiner if you do not put it. These are the simple words. You read I use TikTok uh, to record my students' presentations this time around. I feel that this platform looks like it was designed for learning, right? So, this kind of educational video will be sharp focused to have memorization and understanding of key learning on any topic, right? Okay, so my next lesson for TikTok is two-person interaction to share perspective. Yeah, teachers out there, you can try as well. Bye-bye. Stay tuned with Madam Vina.